Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Saturday so it's grocery haul day. We have a massive stock up haul from actually three stores. We went through a lot of our groceries this last week and it was time for me to make my Sam's Club run. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because we do a grocery haul every Saturday and I actually upload five videos every single day week. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching. Highly recommend personalized macros and calories. This is how I've lost and maintained 140 pound weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Come join us there. We'd love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's head on into my kitchen for this massive grocery haul. So I'm getting ready to head out to do my grocery shopping. I just got dressed, did my makeup, put my jewelry on, and now I need to put on some perfume. And I just opened up my package from Dossier. So you guys know that I order two fragrances every month. This is a little bit of self-care that I do for myself. I love perfume, I love fragrance, and I love Dossier. So my two fragrances for August just showed up. So I thought I'd quickly share them with you. We'll pick out which fragrance we want to wear today. But this is what the packaging looks like. It's packaged actually really nice. This makes an amazing gift. So the first fragrance I picked up is Ambry Sage. So I've really been into summer scents. Now I feel like I want to transition into fall scent. On the little card, it's going to tell you all about the fragrance. Dossier actually replicates high-end fragrances for a much more affordable price. So instead of spending hundreds of dollars on a fragrance, it's $29 to $49 per fragrance. So you're able to really treat yourself to multiple for the regular price of one high-end fragrance. So Ambery Rose, getting into fall, is inspired by Tom Ford's effing fabulous OD perfume. Now the top notes are bitter almond, sage, and lavender. Middle notes are leathery notes, orange and vanilla, and the base notes are amber, blonde woods, and tonka bean. So this should be a little sweet, a little bit spicy. I have smelled this perfume. I've actually smelled all of the perfumes that I bought in Sephora and high-end stores, and Dossier always replicates them beautifully. Oh, that's so good. That is very fall. It's definitely a little woodsy. It's a little earthy, but then there's the back note of the sweet. Oh, it smells absolutely delicious, just like the Tom Ford. One other quick thing about the packaging that I love is it has a magnetic lid. So you can leave these in your car, in your purse. They can be tipped over and they don't leak. That is something I appreciate. I always leave a fragrance in my purse. And then the second one that I picked up is floral lavender. So again, this is a good transition from summer into fall. This is a replication of YSL's Libre Ode perfume. Now YSL is one of my favorite perfume brands, but she pricey and the Libre smells so good. I was so excited to see Dossier replicate this one. Your top notes are Mandarin, Neroli, and Black Currant. Your middle notes are Jasmine, Lavender, and Orange Blossom, and your base notes are Vanilla, amber and musk. So this is going to be a little sweeter with a back note of musk. So again, that perfect transition shade into this one, which screams fall. It's so yummy. It is so YSL. I mean, that it, that is the Libre perfume. Oh my gosh. I feel like we should wear this one because we're not quite fall yet. We're kind of transitioning. I'm gonna smell really good going to the grocery store. So I thought quickly I'd share what I picked up for August since the package just arrived. I will link Dossier down below for you. I do have a 5% discount. You can stack that on any other discount on the Dossier website. So you kind of get to double dip the discounts. I'll put all the information down below for you. And again, I have Floral Lavender, which is YSL Libre Replication, and Ambry Sage, which is Tom Ford's effing fabulous replication. So the first part of this week's grocery haul, big mass of haul comes from Sam's Club. I haven't been to Sam's Club in a couple of months and we were low on a lot of our go-tos. What you don't see is a 35 pack of Diet Coke for Troy and a big huge case of Gatorade Zero. So I picked up Kleenex, always always buy Kleenex at Costco or Sam's Club. I will need to go to Costco too probably in the next few weeks to do my Costco haul. These were I feel like more affordable than the ones at Costco. So I grabbed those, they're the Members Mark brand. And then Troy is obsessed with these canned raviolis. I think they're disgusting, but he loves them and this big pack was only $12 
$1, so about a dollar a can. Picked up some more vanilla extract. The price at Sam's Club is the best, is about $10, and this is the pure vanilla extract. If you saw my grocery haul last week, I talked about how expensive Pledge was. It was almost $7 a can, and this three pack was, I think, 12 bucks at Sam's Club. So I just went ahead and got the three pack. We'll have Pledge until we die, but it's a much more affordable option. And then I picked up Troy's favorite cheese. He loves Colby Jack. This is on sale right now for about $6.50, which is really good. This is my favorite uncured lunch meat from Sam's Club. It's the turkey pastrami. I just like the flavor of this, the texture of this. And I have a hard time finding a turkey pastrami that I really like. And this one is delicious. And I appreciate that it's uncured. Restock my favorite butter, my Kerrygold. I am good with the Costco brand or the Kerrygold brand. 10 bucks, really good deal for that big pack of butter. And then I found the little Rice crispy mini. So these are the little mini squares. There's a hundred of them in this box. They're only 45 calories a piece. And I thought this would be a good pre or post workout snack. I always like a fast acting carb before I work out. So this would be the perfect thing to eat on my way to the gym. And then I figured if we didn't eat them all by Halloween, they would be great to hand out to the kids. We get lots of kids in our neighborhood. I did grab some more heavy whipping cream because I've been loving making my old coat cold foam. Stay tuned. I am going to share that in a what I eat in a day video. I've just been perfecting it, but I am absolutely loving it. And this was only, this was less than $5, which is a really good deal. And then I grabbed another container of my non-fat plain Greek yogurt. Again, my yogurt bowls. I love mixing protein powder into this. And Greek yogurt is just such a low calorie, low point way to get in lots of protein. I wanted the special K with red berries cereal. So I grabbed the big two pack. I have heard all about these popcorn, popcorn, puffcorns. So they're similar to popcorn, but it says better than popcorn. This is from the brand like Air. You get eight classic, eight cinnamon bun, and eight pancake. I've heard the pancake is really, really good. They're 100 calories, no artificial ingredients, and gluten-free. So I'm really excited for these. I've seen the big bag at Sam's Club, and I didn't want to just buy the big bag. This is a better deal because I get to try all the different flavors. And this is another new thing that I've never seen before. This is from the brand Natural Endurance. These are plant-based protein chips. So I guess similar to Quest chips, but with plant-based protein, nacho flavor or 10 grams of protein. And they're only 110 calories per serving, which is way less than Quest chips, I think. So I'm excited for these 110 calories, 10 grams of protein, couple grams of fiber. Hopefully they taste good. They sound absolutely delicious if they give you the whole Doritos vibe. I did grab some more fully cooked bacon. We're not totally out, but this is just such a killer deal. You actually get 72 pieces for about $15. Biggest bag ever of walnuts. I'm actually completely out of walnuts and I've been liking these in my oatmeal. I like to add these to zucchini bread, banana bread, and I love to put these on my yogurt bowl for a healthy crunch. I also got these because they're my favorite thing ever that come out at Halloween. This is from the brand Uts. These are the Bats and Jacks Pretzel. So these are little individual bags. You get 66 of them for $8, 50 calories a piece. These were my go-to forever pre-workout as that fast acting carb. And I love that they're little individual bags. So you can take them with you and stick to a serving. They also have the mini cheese balls if you prefer those and you can't beat it for $8. And again, if there's any extra come Halloween, we'll include those in our treats that we give away. I also picked up a huge thing of cornstarch. I mean, this is a huge thing. It was $3.75. I am out of cornstarch. Also some ranch. This is my favorite ranch. I'm glad that they went back to this flat squeezy bottle instead of the really tall round bottle. This is much easier to store in the refrigerator and it was about $6. I always buy my Canadian bacon at Sam's Club. Now that I think about it, I probably should have grabbed a couple packs. We love this for breakfast sandwiches. It's such a great high protein, low calorie option. I did pick up a couple of fruits. So I have blackberries. These were $3. That's an amazing deal. And then these, otherwise known as moon drop grapes or sweet sapphire grapes, these are my favorite grapes ever, and they were $5, which is a great deal. These grapes are typically really expensive. Some more fabric softener because we just ran out yesterday. This is the lavender and vanilla scent. It smells really good. And then not one, but two boxes of the Premier Pumpkin Spice Protein Shakes. These are my all-time favorite protein shakes ever. I plan on stocking up before the season is over. I think when I go to Costco or anytime I'm near Sam's Club, I'm going to go grab a couple more boxes just to have a stockpile. I love this flavor so much. 
I forgot something from Sam's Club, and this is one of the best things. These are the True Fru Nature Strawberries. These are freeze-dried strawberries in white and dark chocolate. I love these so much. I almost got two bags. That's how much I love them. $10, which is a really, really good deal. This is a nice, clean, sweet treat. So that is everything that I picked up at Sam's Club. Let's jump into the rest of the grocery haul. So here's the rest of my grocery haul for the week. I went to both Sprouts and my local Fries, which is a Kroger store. So let's hop into Sprouts first. So as always, I grabbed the all white meat shredded cooked chicken, super convenient. Anytime I have a recipe that calls for cooked chicken, I always buy this, it is ready to go. We give this to the dogs, it makes for a quick, easy protein meal. The Sprouts brand spices were BOGO, so they had quite a bit of buy one, get one free things. I'll, I'll tell you which I picked up from their BOGO sale, but they did have their spices and I needed oregano, and then I'm almost out of paprika, so I grabbed both of those. Of course, my Roar Waters, these two are probably my favorite flavors, the Georgia Peach and the Mango Clementine. I love these. They're electrolyte waters. They're 20 calories, organic, and they taste really good. I love having these post-workout just to rehydrate. Their Simple Mills crackers and cookies were buy one, get one free as well. So I did grab the Seed and Nut Thins Honey Cinnamon and the Chocolate Brownie. These are really good. I like to crumble these up on protein pudding on Ninja Creamy, or they make just a really good crunchy snack. Really nice, clean ingredients. And then I grabbed some Bonza Pasta Angel Hair. We always like to have spaghetti on hand or pasta in general. Sometimes we'll just whip up a pasta dish for dinner, so I grabbed some more Bonza. And then I did see in their meat section that they had their pot roast on sale. And I've been kind of craving pot roast. So I think I'm going to throw these in my crock pot today. So I grabbed two. Uh, this one was normally $18.50 for $12.03 and $21.61 for $14.05. These are all natural, 100% grass-fed, grass-finished Angus beef. The best of the best, really, truly. So I think I'm going to throw a crock pot in. Going to throw pot roast potatoes, carrots, and then I'll show you a, a packet for seasoning that I grabbed at Fry's for the pot roast. They had their made good crackers on sale. They had pizza flavor and cheddar flavor. So it says star puffed crackers made from vegetables. So I thought this would be, again, just a crunchy snack that I could pair with a cheese stick or some pepperoni or really whatever I wanted for a snack, but you get 55 of them for the calories and the points. Similar to goldfish, just much better ingredients. Speaking of ingredients, I'm really excited for this. I think I'm going to have some avocado toast as a late breakfast this morning. This is the chia cracked rye bread from Sprout. Small batch bread. I want to say it was like $4.49, which is pretty pricey because because this is really like half of a loaf of bread, but it sounds really good. I love rye and chia seeds are just such a great superfood. So I'm definitely excited to try that bread out. I did get some more of my dried mango. I like to have these as a snack, usually with some type of protein. This is like the sweet component of the snack. I count these as zero points. They have the same macros as regular mango. I grabbed some more croutons for Troy. We've been doing a lot of salads and we are completely out of croutons. And I also picked him up his favorite popcorn from Lesser Evil. This is the Himalayan gold. This is their butter version. Also on BOGO was their Chobani yogurts. I'm really excited about these. These ones are 140 calories, but have 10 grams of protein. I usually like to grab the zero, but they didn't have it. And this will work in a pinch if I just need something quick and simple for some protein. And then lots of produce because Sprouts is my favorite for produce. So I have some fresh cilantro, some organic baby spinach. This is for a recipe. And then whatever is left we'll use for salads. I needed blueberries for my meal prep. And these were two for five, some on the vine tomatoes, a little bit of red cabbage, this is organic red cabbage or purple cabbage. This is for my meal prep as well. Some organic green onions for a recipe. And then of course we love green onion in salads. You already know, we love peaches. We ate all the peaches we bought last week. So I went ahead and picked up for more. And then their pre-cut up ready to go pineapple chunks were on sale for $2.50. Love pineapple chunks on cottage cheese. It's kind of been my go-to lately. And I did pick up some cottage cheese from fries as well. So that is everything from Sprouts. Let's jump into what I grabbed at fries. I always check out their reduced bakery section. We usually buy some type of sweet treat from there every week. And this week I actually got the soft top cranberry orange cookies and then some sugar cookies for Troy. Those are his favorite. And then they had their little cranberry orange scones. I really like these as just 
kind of a sweet treat or a side with a protein packed breakfast. These were like $1.25 and they're really, really delicious. I did pick up some reduced fat shredded cheese for a recipe. And like I said, cottage cheese, much better price at Fry's than Sprouts. I wanna say almost $2 less. So this is my favorite Good Culture low fat cottage cheese. And then I did grab two of the Good Culture sour cream. This sour cream is so good and it has probiotics. So I picked up two because I need them for a recipe. Some roasted red peppers also for a recipe. I always make sure I get the ones in water, not oil. I also needed two cans of cream of chicken soup. I always get the healthy request. It's my favorite. And then I did grab some Barilla Protein Plus pasta as well. Sprouts didn't have the Protein Plus. I like the Bonza and I like to have this one. Troy doesn't love the Bonza as much as this. So when I make something for him, I typically use this one. If I'm making something for myself, I'll use the Bonza. I also needed some frozen Southern style diced hash brown potatoes for my breakfast meal prep. And then this is the packet that I picked up for the pot roast. This is from Campbell's. It's the tavern style pot roast. All you do is add your beef and this is a sauce. So I thought that would be really good to throw in the crock pot with the roast. And then this is one of my favorite little go-to easy snacks. It's Colby Jack cheese and turkey sausage. $3.99 for three of them. Troy likes them. I like them. All protein, gotta love that. And then some graham cracker crumbs for a recipe. And I like to have graham cracker crumbs as a topping for Ninja Creamy, as well as protein pudding. It just gives that nice crunch. My Fairlife chocolate milk for my protein shakes. This is a go-to for me. And then I ended up getting 2% milk for Troy because they were out of nonfat and out of skim. So maybe the milk guy hadn't shown up yet. So I did grab him two gallons of 2% milk. So that is everything for the week. Let's jump into what's for dinner and what you'll see in meal prep. So here's what's on my menu for the week. Tonight, Saturday, we're actually going out to dinner with one of my boot camp girls and her husband. Tomorrow, I'm going to make sloppy joes. On Monday, I'm doing Baja chicken tacos. You guys will actually see this recipe in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. Tuesday's leftovers. Wednesday, I'm making a steak bowl, kind of like a Chipotle inspired bowl. Thursday and Friday, we'll do leftovers to finish up everything from earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing for Monday's meal prep. For breakfast, I'm doing a hash brown casserole. I'm actually really excited about this. For lunch, I'm doing spinach orzo chicken salad. This also sounds amazing. And then for dessert, I'm going to make blueberry cheesecake cupcakes. Troy loves cheesecake. We love anything fruity in the summer. So that is all. So you're going to see all three recipes in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for another massive haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up from Sam's Club, Sprouts, and my local fry store, which is a Kroger store. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Turn your bell on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday. And again, I do upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye.